Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome back to another GoPro video. Right, a few things are different. One, the light is on, hopefully that's a little bit better. I have tweaked the GoPro settings, so you're actually now mounted on my chest and not my head. So if you found this quite motion sick last time, then you might not today. Excellent. Guys, would it even be a video if this wall did not turn on while I was talking? Right, I can't see how well you are positioned, but I'm gonna keep you sort of straight up in front of me for now, and we'll see how we go. So, my wall I've done nothing with since we last spoke. Obviously, more things have died. There's a lovely big patch up there. Can you see it? Yep, yeah, if I just flip that up, lovely big patch where things are dead. Not a lot's different though. Um, there was some potting done by Ben yesterday, I believe. So as you can see, the unit is a little bit of a mess. So if you could see, if I just turn around for you, you kind of get the picture. It's not amazing. If I walk around for you, hopefully it'll be a little bit more stable anyway. But we have, if I just tip down, we have some of those. Those are from a recent video. You may have seen them, you may have not yet. I do actually depot these in a video that is coming up, I think. It's your next video. We have a lot of mess here, a lot of mess. We have some messy aisles a little bit. Not too bad, but not great either. So our task today is to probably get this tidied up. If I have time, I'm going to go upstairs and do a bit of watering, but let's just get started. I don't know the best way to start. I'm thinking, I have an itchy armpit, how lovely. Can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna tilt the camera down a little bit just so you can see what I'm getting up to a little bit more because a lot of it is floor focused right now. So we'll actually just keep it pointing down just a little bit for you. We'll see how we go. Give up a little bit. It's really hard to uh, work out where everything should be. Right, so these are all just buckets that look pretty empty. Dip that into there. Right, uh, that's lacquer, that's fine. Needs picked out, but it's fine. Um, right, so let's get rid of this bucket here. Like so, like so. Oh, what a day. I'm feeling really, really stiff from the gym. I don't usually feel stiff from the gym. However, I think because I'm doing it a little bit less at the minute, just with it coming up to Christmas, you know, I've got shit to do, um, things like that. I haven't been as much, and I must say, I am a little bit stiff. Definitely a little bit stiff. What's it like when I bend down here? Sorry, guys, I'm just pausing occasionally to see what the camera is like. I've got a zip that's just gonna contact the GoPro there. Uh, let's move this here a second. You may recognize what's around here. That's my heater and I'm not gonna turn it off. Apologies for the noise because bad things happen when we turn it off. We don't turn it back on. Long story, you'll hear about it soon. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with these because I don't know what the plan is actually. So I might just leave them there for now. I've got so many buckets of shit. Let's just make it into one bucket of shit. It's not quite as bad. But yeah, this is how noisy the unit normally is when I'm working in it. It's not ideal. Uh, that's got holes in it. Great. So much crap. Yeah, this is the reality of having a plant shop, guys. I remember so often in like 2020, when everyone was like, oh my God, it must be like so glamorous having a plant shop. And I'm like, are you kidding me? No, it ain't. I mean, look at the state of all this. It's not glamorous in the slightest. But you guys know that now, obviously. Oh God, this is just so dead. So, so dead. I don't know what happened. I think it just got underwater. Clearly it's been underwater again, so that's great. But my hoses are all occupied. So I'll not do that yet. I've got some zebra blue here as well, look. Honestly, if I were to take you on a tour of this unit, it would take you, it would just take me forever. But there's so many things, my Hoya which I'm not quite tall enough for. There you go, that's my hoyer at the moment. Looking pretty cute. It doesn't do much as you might imagine. There we go, pop that back down. Right, I'm getting distracted. I'm also hoping that those heaters don't stay on forever, but I'm, I'm really not willing to turn them off, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, bad shit happened, bad shit happened. So we're not going to turn them off at all. I'm going to leave it going to put this here. Right. 
put that there. Oh my God, there's so many buckets. We've all got water in them. Why have they got so much water everywhere? These do get cleaned, by the way. Just, it's not happening today. It's my scissor lift that's sort of broken at the moment. Just needs a, it needs a replacement battery, but we're kind of charging it separately at the minute. Oh, Ben's flip-flops. Why would you leave flip-flops on? Why would you do this? Why? Why, 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 why? I don't even know where to put these. <laughs> where do you put flip-flops? Oh, let's put them over here. I'm really hoping, by the way, aside from the noise, which hopefully will not persist, that it is a lot more stable for you guys to watch because there's nothing worse than having a bit of motion sickness. Um, it just sucks, generally. If this uh, heating doesn't stop in a moment, I will turn it off. Oh, you know what, I might turn it off anyway. Should we turn it off anyway? I'm gonna turn it off. Because I just have a feeling, because I put the fan off upstairs, that it's going to stay on because the air can't circulate properly. So I will actually turn it off, even though I literally promised Ben that I would not turn this off today. But here we are. If you're wondering where it is, it's this thing here. There we go. Pray to the heavens that that goes back on. Oh, while I'm up here, hopefully no one has a problem with heights. Oh, my breath, but can you see the unit? This is what it actually looks like. I just walk along the top. This might look really high, it's not. I'm possibly about three meters up. It's not super, super high. About three meters that I'm stood. There's the wall. Looking <laughs> really not good at all. Let me just stand over this. Try not to look down in case people do not like, but there, that's essentially the unit. Should we go in the studio really quickly? I was going to take you in here today if we have time, because oh, I need to breathe. I'm not breathing enough. Oh no, I bet it's run out of water. I basically need to do some watering in here. Oh, it's got full water. Mm, are we all right? Are we all right? Yeah, I don't see anything on it. Okay, well, right. It's grown a leaf right up the back of this. I don't know if you can see this on this camera. Can you see? Yeah, see that? It's just grown a leaf at the back. It's really annoying. It needs repotted. It's... It's not ideal. Whereas this one's not doing much better. Literally not doing much better. But as I say, um, you don't know this yet because I will be talking about it in my next report with you. But I, I might have left the heating off the other week and let's just say the temperature's got really low. You'll hear more about it soon. But if things are taking a bit of a punt, it, it doesn't really surprise me, to be honest. Anything that isn't hardy anyway is really showing itself at the minute. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're looking good, but why have you got a little bit of burn? Why have you got a little bit of burn? You never have burn. Hmm, okay. So that's that. That's the studio at the moment. This UPI over here, seriously, it's a force to be reckoned with. It's just stupidly big. Why are you doing that? Are you even gonna turn the right way? Look at the size of this plant. Literally, look at the size of this plant. Can't even step back enough to get it in. It's massive. It's huge. There's so many cool things though. They're not going amazingly. For example, this has obviously had a few problems acclimating, which I knew it would, to be honest. But it's looking quite good now. Just needs to climb up something maybe. I don't know. This boy looking as beautiful as he ever was. Look at him. Oh, he's so nice. There's a lot of things going on. There's still seeds which I don't know if you could see. I'm literally on the lean back to show you some of the seeds. But yeah, that's it up here. Let's go back downstairs because I have work to do. Um, but yeah, so I've had some problems, put it that way. It's not going the best. Even my hoya look quite bad. You can't see them on camera, but it's not great. All right, I'm about to go down the ladder, guys. So if you don't like it, then shut your eyes for a moment. Right, let's go down here. Kind of have to back up like that and just sort of go down. So I will do that now. Right, okay. I'm not exactly in unit cleaning attire, by the way. I, I do know this, I do know this. But what can you do? Right, so let's 
pop that. Hmm. Hmm. There's so much of it. But there's shit to clean underneath it. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's not going to work very well, this, is it? Put that on for there. Let's just move this. I'm not going to need to go up just yet. Be really careful of those leaves there. Oh, I'm so out of breath. I need to do more um, cardio exercise at the gym because honestly, I haven't been doing it. I'm just going to be totally honest. I have not been doing it. Ooh, my plant feed. Secret plant feed. Right. Okay. This is something that Ben knocked over just five minutes ago. He did not apologize for it. He just knocked it over. And he assumes it is fine because I'm cleaning up. Which it is. Don't get me wrong. Which it is. You can't go a day in this unit without spilling lacquer. It can't happen, guys. It cannot happen. I mean, this is spilt lacquer. <laughs> if you see what I mean. Let's have a look. Get that out. Oh, oh, death, death. We don't put the death in the lacquer. We keep the death out of the lacquer. Sometimes death goes into the lacquer, but every so often we just sift through it all and pick it out. And that's a giant chunk of coir. Very nice. Right. Okay. So. What do we do? What do we do? Is it right to sweep a bit? Because I'm not keeping that. I'm going to get rid of that. Because I have a thing of moss on that table over there in the corner. So I'm not going to keep any of this. I'm probably just going to, I don't know, sweep it all up. Shit like that. Leave it. Pour all the crap into one bucket so I don't have tons. Nice juicy root bucket. Love that. Okay. Right. I think we're ready to sweep. Um, that's a soft brush. I'm going to get this brush here because it's actually a bit tougher than the other brush. I think it might be required for this moss. So I'm literally going to be really rough with this. I'll point you down. Not that you probably care massively about me sweeping up, but we're going to do it this way. Let's have a look at you. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Oh, it actually takes a bit to move. I'm so stiff today. It's not even funny. Not even funny. Right. Yeah, please ignore the uh, <laughs> attire. I would have changed, but I have stuff to do and I don't have time to change. And it's not too bad. It's just a unit tidy. I think on the agenda, what we're going to do, we're going to tidy this up, obviously, because it's minging. We are then going to put anything in its place that needs to be put in its place. And then we're going to maybe do a bit of a trim um, of some stuff on the shelves because it is a bit... It's getting a bit silly, really. So we shall be doing that. I don't know if anybody answered this in my first video, by the way. So I'm going to repeat the question for you. How, like, what do you want to be looking at when I do things like this that are, like, on the floor? Because obviously, if I'm propagating and stuff, that's fine. I would expect you to be looking at it. But do you want me to show you me sweeping? Or would you rather be looking straight ahead? Because I feel like if you're looking straight ahead, it's a bit disjointed, isn't it? It's going to be a bit odd. So I feel like it just needs to be done this way. Oh, I'm literally in the tree. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like this is the way, but I don't know. Maybe I can jolt it up slightly there. Maybe. I just don't know, you know? I just don't know. Right, so. Oh my God, here we go. Put my back into it. So what I went to do today for this video, I took questions for a report, I think the other day, right? And I did it sort of last minute. So I didn't manage to get everybody's questions in because I think I put it out like, I don't know, three hours before I actually filmed, right? So I did that video all as well. But at the time, I don't know if it's a bug on Instagram or what, but I couldn't view the responses to my Instagram story at the time. All I could do was go into my notifications area and see it there. So I had to just scroll down that. Now today, I have gone back to do it at a later date to get some topics for today's video, and it's still not there. So I don't know if Instagram has changed something, or if it's a bug or what, but I just couldn't see any of the, the info that I desired, which is really not ideal. So I wanted to get topics to discuss with you, but I have not been able to do so. 
So I'm just going to chat crap, really. You know, I mean, I do anyway. Don't get me wrong. I do anyway. But I'm really going to chat crap. Because why else not? I'm so out of breath because I don't know why. A lot of the time when I talk, unless it's like a report or something where I'm not moving around, I get... I don't know, I just, I think I talk without actually breathing in between talking. I bet loads of people listen to me and go, oh my God, you're so unfit. And whilst I'm not the most fit person in the world, right, I, I genuinely think a lot of it is me just not breathing in between my sentences. And then I get exasperated, like now. And then I have to sort of take a step back and uh, breathe a bit. It's a bit ridiculous, really. Someone needs to tell me how to breathe. I do it a lot as well. I do it at the gym. If I'm ever starting to concentrate on something more, I will stop breathing. <laughs> so I do it in lifts and it's really quite difficult. And my trainer's like, listen, can, you need to breathe. You need to breathe on your lifts. Um, you know, breathe out when you do do the lift and, and things like that. But I just, I don't know what it is. I just get so <sighs> into stuff and I concentrate a lot. And then I just, I, guys, I, I don't breathe. That's the best way I can describe it. And I know for a fact I cannot be the only one out there that does that. I just can't be. I'm not willing to accept that I'm the only person that does that. There's got to be some of you out there sat at home now or your partner sat with you going, yep, that's you. There is no way that's only me. Same thing when I ride. Um, horse riding gets to be a problem for me. I don't always do it. I think I do it on um, canter transitions and stuff like that because I'm not great in the canter at all. Um, non-horsey people can tune out for just 10 seconds but essentially guys my scoliosis gets in the way of me um not really riding per se but definitely in the canter a little bit because the way my spine curves imagine like a capital let me see on the display here like a capital d like that right so whereas the normal spine goes up like that my spine goes ever so slightly like that it also twists a little bit this way so it's a very, very slight D-shape. What it actually means is I tend to lean to the right. I don't tend to. I actually lean to the right permanently. It's not a lot. It's just a little bit. Um, and I obviously I knew I had scoliosis. I think, did I find that out in 2021? I think it was. Because I used to get so much pain and stuff like that. Um, I found that out. But I think was it yeah, it was at some point last year. I don't think it was this year. Could have been. Can't remember. I went to a riding school not to have your stereotypical riding lesson. I went on one of those dressage horse machines. They're so cool. Um, if anybody watches some equestrian channels on YouTube, like Matt Harnicky and stuff like that, I think they've used it before. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's, it's basically a machine in the shape of a horse and it has sensors and it can tell you where you're balanced, what you're contact is like, what your leg position is like, blah, 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 blah. Um, whether you're behind the movement, in front of the movement. I feel like most people end up being behind the movement. I know I was. But basically, this whole time, no matter what I was doing, even though I was quite, I felt very balanced, I was permanently, if the line was like down the middle here, I was permanently off to the right. It was quite a balanced line, do not get me wrong. It wasn't actually that bad. It wasn't like, you know, like mad lines. It was quite subtle, but it was always to the right, always. And I'm putting that down 100% to scoliosis. So I did a couple of iterations on that. And I tried to like, just, it's, it's hard, isn't it? When it's your actual spine and you're trying to bend it the other way without just bending yourself like a banana because that doesn't work. Um, so I tried to basically like bend the other way to fix it and I was able to get it a little bit better but not a lot better so I think what I'm gonna do as part of my riding um every maybe annually or every six months I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do a lesson on one of the machines because it's all well and good being on a horse and learning to ride which obviously I would be doing obviously it goes without saying but I need I, I literally need like numerical feedback. Do you know what I mean? Like I need a graph. I need something to go, no, you're off. Your position is off. Um, so I really, really want to do that again because if it wasn't for that machine, I wouldn't have known that because I do find one rein easier than the other. Um, a lot of the time, I think my left rein is harder for me because I'm going, you know, I'm leaning right. When I go round 
on the right rein, I feel like because I'm leaning slightly into the, you know, into the corner anyway, it sort of just works a little bit better. I th I'm pretty sure anyway, it's been a while since I've been in the school, but I think it's my right rein that is a bit uh, shitter. Sorry, my left rein. Honestly, what am I talking about? Sorry, the left rein for me, I think, is a bit shitter. So that's, if you're a non-horse person, that means if I go anti-clockwise around a school, around an arena, it's harder for me than going clockwise. Yes, okay, we got that. <laughs> so yeah, scoliosis, man. Um, it doesn't affect me too much at the gym, for anyone curious. It's actually very good. My personal trainer knows about it. Luckily, I knew about it before I even started training with her. So if you're thinking about getting a PT, um, I'll actually leave the socials for mine down below because she's absolutely amazing, by the way. Um, not sponsored. Um, she's, she's really good and she actually does online plans as well. So even if you're in the US... And you think, God, Kaylee, you know, really likes her trainer. She seems to be doing really well. And you want to try her out. You can do online stuff with her and she will give you a meal plan. She'll give you an exercise plan, all the rest. And she will monitor you each week. Your mood, you know, how you've been feeling in yourself. You know, what progress you've made. Not, not just physically, mentally as well. She will help you out with a diet that's really realistic and, you know, sort of sustainable and all that jazz. It's not salads and everything. Do not worry. I have bacon sandwiches. I have pizza. I have curries. I have a lot of the same stuff. It's basically, just the ingredients within are lighter versions and it's all a bit more controlled. So you'd be surprised, guys. But yeah, so anyway, I will leave the links for her down below if you're interested. But I was lucky that I knew I had scoliosis before I went to her, but when I did get diagnosed with scoliosis, the, he's not a doctor, is he? What, what would you call him? The osteopath or the physio or whatever you want to call him. He, um, he basically said, when I said I was doing horse riding, he was like, oh, that's honestly one of the best things you could do. Because long story short, anything I can do that is symmetrical will help me out. Anything at all. So obviously horse riding, major symmetry, major symmetry really, really helps. Um, I try and be as symmetrical as I can, as I've mentioned, but it is hard for me because scoliosis. Because I also lose stirrups as well all the fucking time. And it's always my left stirrup that I lose. And I think I'm losing my left stirrup because I'm leaning to the right. So more weight is going through that right stirrup. And as a result, it's, it's not quite going through my left properly because my center of gravity has kind of shifted. So I tend to lose stirrups a lot. And my uh, riding instructor, at one point was like, well, what should we do? Should we shorten the stirrup to see if that's the problem and ride it unequally, or do we just try and fix it? So obviously, I want to try and fix it. So that is what I've been doing. But anyway, so my personal trainer has me doing symmetrical exercises because of that. Um, so she knew straight away, and she's like, right, we're not going to do anything that isn't symmetrical. I've got a, a weak side and a strong side. Up until very recently, actually, my stronger side was my left side, which is really weird because I'm right-handed, so I don't get that. But I think what it is, is if you imagine my spine pulling like that, right, that's my spine, all the muscles here are being pulled constantly by this spine bowing here, and as a result, these muscles aren't engaged as much. So the left-hand side of my back is normally way more engaged, and I think that's why the left side is stronger. It's not done that recently. I'm evening out a little bit. So a tip for you at the gym, if you have a stronger side and a weaker side, say you're doing, I don't know what you're doing, some, maybe you're pulling on a cable with one hand or something, do your weaker side first and then match the reps with the stronger side. So don't worry if you're uneven. Don't try and even do extra reps on the weak side or anything like that. Don't even do that. It's not technically as safe. The best thing you could possibly do, start with your weak side, do what you can do, and then just match it with your stronger side. That is the best way um, forward for stuff like that. Sorry, I'm trying to get a brush in here. Is it working? No. What's going on here? Why does that look weird? Has something happened? Ooh, what's happened here? Let me stop and start this. Oh, I lost you. I lost you. Right, I actually don't know what, uh, what happened there. I don't even know how far we got. But I will... Repeat the last thing I said, and then I will put text over the screen if there's something 
that I said that you have missed because I don't know when that went off there. But I'm really learning with this GoPro, guys. It's not the easiest, you know. It's really not. Do I have a little scrubber for this thing? Yes, I do. Let me just scrub it before I pour it out. Sorry, I keep forgetting that those noises probably going down a microphone do actually mean something. I'm just giving this a very quick scrub, which, hang on, let me tilt this up a bit so you're not looking in between my legs. Um, I'll be doing a lot of this come next year at some point because basically you just have to. Every so often the trays just get a little bit shit. So basically scrub them out, blast them with the hose, and then they're good as new. So just get a knee out of the way. That's really difficult to do. That's really, really difficult to do. There we go. That's my unit contracting as well. There we go. I'm not doing a proper clean of this, by the way. I'm just sort of giving it a very opportunistic scrub because at the end of the day, it helps me decide if this is, dare I say, doable in terms of noise and things like that. So honestly, if you're expecting the glam of working behind this shop, you will not get it. You will just not get it. It's not glam. It's kind of like saying having a horse is glam. And you know, on show days maybe, but not the rest of the time. Right, that's gonna be all I'm gonna do there. It's just literally, so I can just tip this out. Oh, sorry guys, I know you're staring at my feet right now. Just give me one minute. It's hard to kind of accommodate the camera for both a lot of the time. Like, can you see that now? Yeah, you can, okay. There we go. Just opportunistically sort of rinsed out. One of those. One of those. Right. He can just live there. We don't care about him. He can live there as well, even though I might need him soon. Right. Once we've done the sweeping, guys, we're sort of on to trimming and things, I think. But we've, we've done well here. We have definitely done well. I'm just going to move the rubbish to its usual spot, which is just over here. So, I'll do that. Oh, I don't know when you guys are getting this video, but it's nearly Christmas. I might put it out over the weekend. Uh, what are we on now? We're on Thursday now. So that's what, the 22nd? So I might put this out on the weekend. So if you're seeing this on the weekend, uh, that means it's after Christmas, because I might do it on Boxing Day, actually. Seems like a good time. I hope you've had a great Christmas, guys. Absolutely cracking Christmas. I've obviously had a lot happen, which you will get an update on on the 30th, because I, I feel like that's when my next upload is. So I'm not going to divulge you in anything. Um, but I've done a repot with me, and I've talked about some updates. And oh, basically, you name it, it has happened. It literally, I'm just sick to death at this point. Like, where was that mingingness that was there? See, notice how it takes nothing at all to fuck your shit up. All right. Yeah, put that there. Okay. Right. I should call this, I know I've done like GoPro with me, but this should just be sweep shit up with me. And honestly, guys, pretty much every video will have some sweeping in it, so... I am very sorry, but you know what these videos are. These videos are supposed to be for very realistic chat. Very realistic chat. Um, what I will mention, actually, I'll mention some very quickly, because it was mentioned in the last video, and a couple of people were saying some, some things about it. I think I mentioned, oh, are these good? Are these clean? I really need a bit of a clean. <laughs> oh, horses. Um, so I said in my last video that... I'm probably going to stream at some point next year, as soon as I get my computer sorted. Um, and everyone's like, oh, you can play plenty games. Just to let you know ahead of time, I'm not against it completely. But if you didn't, well, I mean, why would you know? My extracurricular activity is usually in horror. That's not to say that I wouldn't play games that um, weren't horror. because There's a few games that I like out there, of course. But it's kind of like my jam. It's really my jam. So if I was streaming, I might play stuff like that. Um, I might play some Borderlands or something. Absolutely love that game. Um, I haven't played the third one yet, actually. I could be doing that. I should probably do that at some point. But 
Yeah, I, it probably won't be that planty. Oh, crunch, crunch. I think it might be just other stuff. You have to understand, sometimes I just, I want to break from plants. And that's not to say I don't like plants, obviously. Uh -huh, hello. I love plants. But to do it 24 hours a day gets a bit much. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'll probably play some different stuff. Don't get me wrong, guys. If there's a cool game out there that's planty, don't feel like you can't recommend it in the comments. Honestly, just, just drop um, any suggestion you want for some video games that you think, hey, Kay I would love to see Kaylee play that. I do swear a lot, disclaimer. <laughs> you must have known that anyway, but you know. Um, yeah, if you see anything online that you think, oh God, that would be so cool if Kaylee played it, just leave a comment and I will actually have a look at them over Christmas and see if it's my kind of vibe. But yeah, because when, just to give you an idea of what I used to stream, I think I streamed for a very narrow period of time, right? Very, very, very narrow period of time. And I streamed, oh, what was it? It was Friday 13th. So that must have been what, 2017 or something? And I was obsessed with that game, guys. I loved that game so much, so much. So I probably do something like that. I know there's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game coming out at some point. Um, so that would be good. I don't really want to do like a scheduled day for a stream or anything like that. That's not to say I wouldn't further down the line, right? Oh, don't, don't. It's just, I want to keep it fun. I don't want everything I do to turn into work. So if I want to sit and play a game with you guys and just chat or whatever, like I want to be able to do that and be having fun, not thinking about, do you know what I mean? Like not thinking about being at work. I just think that's really important. I don't want every single thing I do to just turn into work. But if I really got into streaming and you guys love it, I would have like at least one night a week where I stream and stuff like that. So yeah, that's not to say that I wouldn't do a, um, a scheduled thing as such. It's just, you know, I want to see how it goes. I don't necessarily want to do that. I've got so much random shit here. Can you see that the sheer amount of just crap? It's ridiculous, isn't it? So, oh, there's something I need to tell you, actually, on a different subject, on a planty subject. Look how bad this has all gone. This is so bad. Can you see that on camera? Yeah, I will explain it in my repot with me. So you will hear all about it. But um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Literally forgotten. And this is what happens when you do it live. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Planty update. Basically, I finished my feed experiment, guys. I finished it. And I took pictures of basically all three of the trays. So if you haven't been following, I've had an experiment running for, I'm not sure the precise amount of time, but a, a while anyway. And I've been doing my feed, a competitor feed and a control, which is just water. And I've stuck a bunch of different plants in, you know, in trays with water and the, oh, that's heavy. The manufacturer's recommended, you know, instructions for feed. And I've been pitting my feed against their feed, because why not? Um, and I've been doing it for a while, and I know a lot of you have been following that for a while, which is cool. And it's recently just finished. I need some scissors. So I took the results of that, and I was very, very happy with them, actually. There was definitely some differences. You can definitely see what, you know, the, the effects of the competitor feed versus the effects of mine in different ways. I will be honest, different ways. Wow, look at that. Oh, shit. Can you see that? Can you see that? That is edema. <sighs> I know exactly why it's happened. Basically a huge temperature drop in a nutshell. Um, again, watch my report that comes out on the 30th and I will explain all of it to you. But that's essentially what's happened. Can you see all this when I'm doing it? No, you see my legs. Apologies, I will have to bend down and do it that way, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it's not good. That's a disadvantage actually of pointing the camera this way from my chest, you don't get the view that I would like you to get, and that's because it is stuck to my chest. So if you do have some frustrating camera angles, honestly, that's why. Give me a second to stop and start this, just to make sure I've got the boost on. Okay, I did have the boost on, that's good. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's not quite the view that I would want for you guys. But it's the view that we're going to have to go with, so just keep bending down and doing that. So I apologize if it's not the best, but. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, there's been so much damage. So much damage since I did what I did. 
it's not ideal at all. I'm not very happy about it, but what can you do? You know what it is, I'm going to cut that because more light will get to the rest of it. Look at the roots. Can you see the roots on that? In that tree? Oh my God, it's really bad. It's really, really, really bad. All right, I'll get rid of... Actually, I won't get rid of that because it's the only one. I want to be able to identify it, but... Yeah, it's, oh, it's just a demon on everything. Oh, I mean, look at this. That is just a load of fucking root, but what can you do? This is what happens. This is what happens. Right, let's do some more trimming. We could maybe trim this, you know. Let me tilt the camera down so you can see it. There we go. I'm just going to trim the shit off this because there's not a lot of point in keeping it, you know. Oh, God. I will get this place on track. It's recovering from a, a, a few disasters, actually. One after the other. As I say, this year has not been the best. But I will get it back on track for spring. So I'm hoping in, by spring it'll be lovely and juicy and green and luscious. I don't know what I'm going to do about the wall. I have no idea. I'm not sure because I don't know if you can see the carnage that is the wall. But I don't know what I'm going to do about it, to be honest. Not really sure what I'm going to do. But I will come up with something. I might just give it a big tidy and just leave the patches and just see if I can nurture what's there and get it back into a really good, healthy state. And if I can't, then we will do something else with the wall and, you know, put some more shelves there or find a different way to display a collection of, like, mother plants or something, if you know what I mean. Because not everything is in the wall. This stuff over here, can you see him? Can you see him? Yeah, this big guy. Can you see him in here? He's just grown up the wall quite happily. He's just in a pot down there. He's nothing special. Well, he is to me. Obviously, I've got so many things around the unit like this. This beautiful boy. That's um, philodendron. Whip away, that one. It's gorgeous. I've got the oblique in here that has not done well in the cold. It's not the worst, but it's not done amazingly. Oh, by the way, shout out to my biorb. Do you want to see this? This is great. That, guys, that's my biorb. And it's been literally untouched. Untouched now for... Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Let me just move the camera up. For about a year and a bit, it's got very coarsome in there, just chilling, that's completely overgrown. It's got bromeliad in still. It's got Monstera siltipicana. Here is some Epipremnum. That looks like, that looks like a fucking Florida ghost. It's got so much stuff in there. I've just sort of left it and it's sort of alive. So we're just leaving him. He looks like he's about to die, but yeah, he doesn't get water, does he? Because he at least got water because I'll be honest, I'm not bothered about him, if you can see him. But I am bothered about him. Yeah, see, he's got no water, look. <sighs> he needs water, he needs water. Okay, this is the problem. So many things in pots. Very easy to miss a pot, you know. Believe it or not, it is the easiest thing in the world to miss a pot in here. Because sometimes there's a pot in a tray. So you water the tray and then you think, right, box ticked. But it's not, because it's in a pot. Like for example, in this tray, you see this? I'll lift that off my chest a second. There's pots in there, so you have to check them. Ooh, we got a dead one. We got a dead leaf. There we go. Oh, bless them. Again, edema, really bad. <sighs> Water consumption changes a lot with temperature and humidity, guys. If you didn't know this about your plants, it's, <laughs> I sound like such a dickhead. It's a thing, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So. With there being a lot of water in here, a lot of humidity, as soon as the temperature dropped, the plants stopped taking up all that water, and then it became a situation like this, which is horrific, where there's just been too much water, and then they've done this. So this is shit. Not a lot I can do about it. Oh, let's trim him. Bless him. Bless him. You know what I mean? Everything's just suffered. Oh. But you know what? It could have been worse. It could have been worse. Oh, some dead leaves in here. Should I have a go? We're just cutting these. There's one. There's another one around here as well. I don't tend to do this, but I'm going to. Just for sake of completeness today. Oh, that's already come off. Oh, no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. There we go. I'm constantly tilting this camera. But it's not so bad, you know, because at least I can see it. It just makes some angles a bit crap. Um, what can you do, really? Right, that'll do there, I think. Hopefully, I'm genuinely really hoping that it's a lot more stable for you guys. Like, I'm really, really, really hoping that it is. Like, me walking around there, hopefully, is just way better. 
It feels more secure on my chest anyway. It's got a much larger kind of anchor point or whatever. So I am hopeful. I'm really hopeful. Uh, there's not a lot of trim in this aisle. I think this aisle gets a reasonable amount of maintenance. It's okay. It's okay. What are you? Ooh, yeah, very nice. Oh, there's some really cute things around here. Oh, look at this white monster. So cute. So cute. I've got a rogue. Oh, it's over there. I've got a rogue Florida ghost over there, which I didn't know I had. I find things all the time in this shop, you know. Literally all the time. And I'm like, what are you? Where did you come from? It's just too much for one person. If you're thinking, if you're looking at all this going, this is too much for one person. Yeah, it is. It's too much for two people. If I'm honest, if it's too much for two people with other jobs, if that makes sense. Like if I didn't do YouTube at all and I just did this shop, it's, it's work day each day, but it's probably manageable, if you know what I mean. When you've got the stuff to do, this just becomes more and more impossible. It, honestly, it really does. Oh God, Chaos Corner. God, I love Chaos Corner, honestly. I, I mean every syllable of it when I say this is Chaos Corner, you know. Got bacteria on these. No. Loads of stuff just dying over here. This is basically the neglect corner, which is really sad. It is, but what can you do sometimes? That's the thing, you have to start prioritizing in the shop when uh, things get tough. He's lovely, isn't he? Can you see him? Let me just lift them up. He's just lush, he's big and awesome. Um, you just have to start prioritizing stuff sometimes when it gets a bit much. Oh, I'm not gonna cut that if it's doing anything sticking out of there, I'll leave that. Yeah, I'm hoping to get on top of this a lot. I, I want my life to settle down big time. And I, I do understand this is all I talk about. I get it. I know you're all sick of me saying it, but I hope for, I hope for some settle next year. I'm going to deliberately just not stick my neck out for anything. I'm just going to have a nice fucking year. I swear to God. Ugh, these are not looking good. I've got a lot to cut. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that up there? Yeah, you can. Uh, but I... Mm, can I get to it? Maybe, maybe. I've got a little ladder here. Should try and get to it. Right. I'm hoping um, this footage isn't too grainy either, by the way. I will briefly cover what I mean. So, <sighs> graininess and stabilization on GoPros are linked. So basically, if you have darker footage and you don't let the ISO, which is basically a camera's way of giving you fake light, if you don't let that engage to stop the graininess, then the stabilization doesn't work very well. If you allow that stabilization to work and you allow the camera to give it a lot of fake light, so a lot of ISO or ISO, then you get graininess. So I'm, uh, I'm just kind of battling that. So please bear with me. Um, what I'd love to do eventually is be able to use this GoPro outside for things like hacking. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see this, you know. I'm very sorry, because literally I'm cutting up here. Um, I want to use the GoPro for hacking out and stuff on my horse. So at some point I would love to do that. I don't know what to do about that. Um, I want to put bits and pieces on, on a, a YouTube channel, but I don't even think I'll put it on Kaylee Ellen unfiltered. I think what I'm actually going to do, sorry, I'm tilting this back down because that didn't do much. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I might put it on a separate channel just so that people that really don't give a shit about horses just do not have to get involved. Um, so I might do that at some given point, but I really want to use this GoPro to hack out on because, I mean, why the hell not? That could be fun. So I would love to do that. I would absolutely love to do that. And I probably would use this mount, actually, the chest mount. I don't know if any equestrians are out there on my channel and you use, oh God, this is bad. And you use GoPros or whatever camera, it doesn't have to be a GoPro. If you use stuff like that for hacking, um, do you mount to your chest or your head? Because I feel like chest would be better. It's definitely better for me to see what the camera's looking at. Because obviously when I'm riding, I'm not necessarily willing to start fiddling with my hat, am I? So I think for me, it'd be the chest, but I don't know. So I don't know what to do with this bucket of moss, you know, it's just a bit like, Meh. I don't really know. I might take that spiritus back upstairs. I might move him as well because he needs moved. Where can I move him to? Where can I move him to? It's just shit everywhere. It's ridiculous, isn't it? How, how heavy is it? Can we deadlift it? 
that's actually way too heavy. We're not lifting that at all. At all. Um, don't really want to send that up by myself, so what I might do is I'll prepare to water upstairs. That might be the better option, guys. Because that is fucking heavy, that tray. It's got, it's squished full of larger pot with liquor and it's full quite a bit with water. And <laughs> I ain't that strong, if you feel me. Definitely not. Right. So that is the watering can up there. I don't think I'm going to feed. Should I feed? Do I have the stuff to feed? I wonder. I wonder. Um, that's nearly out. Oh, there's some of my feed. Right, we can do that. There's the thingy for it. Do we have a prepare as well? Oh, I can feed. Okay. We can feed. We can feed. We can feed. Right. <sighs> Put this up top. Like so. And then I'll grab the rest, the extras. Pop that on top, like so. We'll go a bit further up. Sorry, I realise this is absolutely amazing viewing. But y'all said we will watch you do anything and we will watch you just chat crap. So well, who would I be, guys, if I didn't grant your wish? Do you know what I mean? Who would I be? Alright. Come on. Let's get some of this hose up. Oh my god, it's literally wound round loads of shit. Come on. Oh my god, right. That might be enough. So I'm gonna take this up with me. Up top. And I'm kind of gonna lodge it so that I can come up and get it when it's on. Does that make sense? I feel like that should make at least 1% sense to somebody. Right, turn this on. Sorry, I realize you can't fully see. This way. I'll not do it too much. About there. Oh, you can't hear anything. That's a good hose. Love that. So put that there. We get back up the ladder. Like so. This ladder is solid as a rock, by the way. I don't want anybody being like, oh my god, what if the ladder falls? Can you see that there? It is bolted on. It is absolutely sturdy as hell. It is bolted on here. So I can just put the cage shut like that, and then do some feed. So, make sure you can see what's going on. Right, I'm gonna put my feed in at the end. I know that I need 40 mil for 10 liters. So, I'm gonna put my feed in. I'm gonna do something a bit different when I get to the top. So, one moment. Right, I wanna stop where it's just before 10 liters, where we are there, we're at about eight. I wanna stop at about, Nine and a bit. So there, I'm going to stop. And what I'm going to do is, I'll take my feed. Don't know why I thought I needed to prepare. I don't. Oh no. Oh no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. My feed is chocolate brown, by the way, for anyone that is curious. Right, where are we at here? 40 mils. Let's have a little pour. Like so. Oopsie, not very good at this. It'll be fine. There you go. Right. That there. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, can you see? Yes. I'm going to pull my feed in, like that, when it's almost at capacity of water, and I'm then going to fill it. It will stir the feed up in there, but also my feed is, just happens to be just the formula that we've gone with and, you know, the added stuff. It can get a bit frothy. So what I do is, I do the last of it, top it up, see, and then I let it be. So just a bit frothy, and if you end up using my feed in the future when it comes out, because this is the final formula, that can happen. It's totally normal, it's part of the feed, it's just the formula, but that's the best way. So you get most of your water that you want, and then go for it. If you're using much less, so you're using a litre and you only need a tiny amount or whatever, then it won't matter, you won't, you know, this won't come into effect. It's if you're using large volumes of it like this. So, do not worry yourself. It will be fine. Oh, look how dry these are. This is so bad. Nothing gets watered much up here. Just, just the way it is, really. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, let me just tilt it down a little bit more. Oh, this is quite difficult. My bad. Today is, uh, it's not doing the best that it could be doing. I've tilted you too far, haven't I? How rude of me. 
I've got a monster around here as well, you know. I've got loads of shit around here, but I've also got a monster around here. Just a little bit of water. Like that. He doesn't need too much, he'll be okay. And now, we'll start the watering process in here, which there are a few things. Hopefully you can still see this. Sometimes I water through the substrate, by the way, and sometimes I just water into the canal. Sometimes, oh, sorry, you can't see. Uh, sometimes I do a bit of both. Really depends. Today I'm doing a little bit of both because I know they've got drier. If I look at the substrate and see that, you know, the soil still looks kind of damp, then I don't care. It's when it's got a bit dry like this here, it's looking a little bit dry. Oh my god, I cannot keep this camera where I want it. It's very annoying. So I'm going to walk through this one anyway, because it's lecker and I can do. Lecker, pond even. So I'm just going to, yeah, that's actually enough. Oh, that worked well. You, you're putting out a flower. Oh, that's exciting. My luxuriance is putting out a flower. Yes, I'm very messy when I water. You can completely and utterly have a go at me for it. That's absolutely fine. What are we doing there? Oh, that's actually got enough in it. That's all right then. Let's go to this one. This one's not doing bad either. That's all right. You need a bit though. Genuinely just a bit because it's a tiny little receptacle. Have we done this glory awesome? I don't think we have, have we? <sighs> He's actually got quite a bit in there. Which I'm quite surprised at. That's good. What about the youp? Youp's got fuck all. So let's just put some in the youp. Like so. See how that is. Probably need to do a couple of rounds here. It does take a little bit of time. So, do you need a bit? Yeah, sorry if you can't see all of these. It's just the way I have to bend over. And again, this is just, this is the tea when I've got a chest mount, I'm afraid, guys. This is what you must put up with. How are we doing in here? I can feel some uh, transpiration. No, we haven't got a turn. I will try my best here. It's the way I'm bent over to water a lot of stuff further down. I think that's where I lose, I lose you guys a little bit here. Oh, this guy's cool. This guy's grown back quite a bit. I cut him down to literally nothing earlier in the year. And he's come back wonderfully. Oh, this guy gets thirsty, let me tell you. He needed repotted, this guy here, this palm thing. Um, I think it's grass, actually, not a palm. He needed repotted literally like a year and a half ago. And he just, he doesn't get it. That's why this pot is so damn small. But I have a bigger one downstairs, actually. That's a video for you. Oh my God, it would take so long. I have a big pot downstairs. It's it's huge. It's about three times the size of this. I could repot him. I could put him in my house, you know, he's gorgeous. But um, I could repot him in the bigger one and put something else in that one. That would be really nice, I think. Really, really nice, actually. I might do that at some point. You could really use it, but it's just like, as you can imagine, it's it's a really big job. Do you know what I mean? Right. More water, I will cut this, don't worry, because it's loud. And same as last time, what we're going to do is we're going to take that, we're going to take that. We're going to get the feed out. I'm going to pour about 40 mils. It might seem like a lot, guys, but this is 10 litres worth of water, so it's, it's decent. Like so. Put that cap on. We've got loads left in there. Keep going through it, but it's good shit. Right, and then we're going to do that little top up. I've got a little bit on my hand. Um, we're going to do that top up now. It doesn't froth too much. And I could minimise that froth, by the way, by uh, putting the hose right into the water. Like this could totally be minimised. Do not get me wrong. It's my laziness that's making me have to do it that way. <laughs> If they don't want a bucket full of froth, you get me? Right, this is going to get a bit difficult now. I'm going to have to just do things at floor height to make sure that this gets light enough for me to use. So what more did he need? Oh, he needs loads more. He needs loads more. Hang on, I'm in a tree here. There we go. There we go. He just needs loads. He just drinks and drinks and drinks. And he's now but root probably now. What we're doing there? How are we doing? Is it coming up? Probably can't even see where the indicator is, but I can. 
It's on the right hand side near where the socket is. It takes a little bit to see it, but I'm aware of where it is. It's not so bad. What we got here? Right. You can probably see the indicator on this one, like so. He needs a little bit of love as well. Come on, you can jump up. Sometimes, by the way, with these plant pots, you need to give them a little shake or, or kick the base or something because sometimes roots can actually interfere with that little indicator here and it can make it look like it's not filling up when it is and I have had that happen. So there's a little con of them for you that might go up a bit. Yeah, it's gone up a lot. I'm not too worried because it was so dry. It's going to be fine. I'm really not worried about that. But <laughs> at the same stretch, don't actually do that. Do what I've just said to do. Do not do as I do, if you know what I mean. Just do as I say, because you just don't want the consequence. Oh God, he needs a bit of, bit of love, doesn't he? Yeah, everything just, just gets super, super dry. He's fine. Oh, hello. You need some, I do believe. Come on, there we go. Yeah, with it being pond, I'm definitely spreading it out over the surface of the soil. Right, what we got left? We've got loads of shit left. We've got loads of shit left. Ah. So did we do this guy? Yep, he's got some. Oh, it's the one up. It's the one above that that doesn't. Okay. Do you have anything? What do you have? No, you've got a lot. You've got a lot too. You can tell it's winter. Not going through it half as fast. You don't have anything. That's a shame. Let's give you some. Like so. Pour it fast so it spreads a little better. We'll have a look at this little indicator. Yep, it's gone up. Good, 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 good. Got a bit of skin depthness up here that you might not see, and I appreciate you might not be able to see all of this for the reasons that I explained earlier, but I'll never get anything watered if I don't. Ooh, that's a lot of water. Holy shit. I might have to do something about that. Um, I'll never get anything watered if I don't. Do I need to do? Yeah, I've, I've gone overboard with this. I knew as soon as I did it, as soon as I did it, that I've gone overboard. Where can I pour it into? Who would appreciate it? This guy would appreciate it. Okay. Oh, God. I've just gone totally, totally overboard there. Oh, no. All right, that'll be enough. Okay. I love this hoy, you know. I really wanted... Sorry, I know this is getting all in the camera. Oh, no. Hang on, I'm killing it. There we go. I really, really, really wanted this beautiful hoyer in my house. However, I have wood flooring in my house. What I don't want to do is muck up my, my, um, my wood. So if you think it will, let me know. I don't want it to, it's lovely this. I've had this, this is the one from my flat, by the way, if you're wondering. I've had it a long time. I love him. I love him very, very dearly. He does get a bit neglect, but you know, <laughs> would it even be one of my plants if it didn't? But uh, yeah, I, I would love to have him in the house, but I don't know. Some of the band's looking a bit, a bit sparse up top. This guy though, have you seen this guy? That guy right there? He's looking bloody great. We love him. We absolutely love him. Right, is this going to die? Yeah, probably. This needs a repot. It's a shame. It's just... Oh, it's really bad. So much stuff needs done. We must get through this watering for Christmas. Here, from this point onwards, guys, you're not going to see the watering. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the camera off and come back when I've done it, because honestly, I can't show you up there very easy. So I'll be back in one minute. Right. And we are back on. I think I've done most of it. There's not a lot left to do. Oh, I must do this one over here. And we are kind of about done. Well, at least done for the studio. Let me see where the water level is. It's really hard to see this one. I'm not going to be able to see, are you? No, it's just impossible. I'm just going to flood this pot here a little bit because this guy, he gets neglected so much. So much, I can't even tell you. Right. He can live there. He needs to come to my house and get beautiful because he's very crispy and nasty. I think I've showed you guys him in my tour before. Um, yeah, nothing's looking amazing in here. Obviously, this little guy's looking really crap, but we have watered pretty much everything. 
So I'm happy with that, to be honest. I think we can be safe in the knowledge that that's fine. I'm going to leave him on this chair. Can you see him? Oh, you can see him. There you go. This guy here, he's still floppy. He's huge, by the way. Let me just pop this down. I'm going to leave him on this chair because he's just pointing down a lot. And I think I might bring him to my house and repot him. But he needs to start sort of looking up into the future. You know what I mean? And he's not at the moment. But if you want to know how big he is, that's my hand. He's just... He's massive. He's beautiful. I love him. That's Anthurium crystallinum, if you didn't know. Right. I think we're done in here. I'm going to put this door stopper on because we use the light that comes into the windows. We kind of use it to help out with the unit a little bit. Right. Got that? Yes. That'll do. It's not going to go anywhere. Right. I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to leave all of them up here because if someone needs them, they will come and get them. That is how it works. Right. I'm going to go down first and then get this hose because what I've done before is I've dropped this hose on the floor and you can imagine the top came off, it broke, water everywhere. Not a fun time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it once I'm down and sort of come back up for it almost, sort of anyway. So we will get down. Can I do it from here? Yes, probably. Reach around and grab it. I can rest it on there a little bit. Perfect. Oh, hell yeah. Loving that. Loving that. Right. Now, oh, girl, damn. Oh, God, I'm trying not to break everything I see, you know. It's just not, not the easiest thing to do. Right. What I'm going to do is, it's probably a bit too noisy, look. That's the wrong attachment to do all of this. Got a favourite one. It's that one. Does anyone have, right, this is so stupid, but it Gardener's Among Us, Gardener's Among Us. That's my favorite attachment uh, setting, sorry. I don't know about anybody else. This one here with the curved, I don't know what you call it, like curved hose setting, that there, spot on. It's a little bit harsh on this hose though, actually. Oh, that's really harsh. What about that one? That's too misty, but it is handy, like that. It is very handy. We don't want that. What about this one? I don't want that either. That's too harsh. Yeah, has to be that, only on this hose it is a little bit more powerful, so. I think what I'm going to do is, oh, let me just fill this. It should be filled and it's not. We're on 3%, so we're going to die. I'll just fill this and then we'll stop. I'm going to leave the video there, guys, because I'm not out of batteries, but we've used a few. So that is it for today's video. I'm going to end this very, very quickly in case the GoPro goes off. Thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, this video is a work in progress. So it will change over time. We can change the format. We can change what I do. We can change the angles, etc., etc. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was cool just following me along some chores. We've got some stuff done. It's not a lot, but yes. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to go very quickly because we're on like 1% and I will see you in the next one. I look forward to reading your comments. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Goodbye. <laughs>